Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to install the Oracle database. Right, so uh, please, keep bear, uh, please keep this in mind that uh, my tutorials are what we are going to publish or going to witness. Uh, if I have to talk about any transactions within the database, then obviously I need to have the database first, right? So I'll be working with few databases during my entire courses or tutorials. That would be either Oracle, SQL, <coughs> or uh, some of the enterprise edition softwares, uh, which is of course available for free of cost. Now, to begin with, we'll start with Oracle and see how we can work on with the rest of the other databases. Now, how do we install Oracle database? It's pretty cool. Let's Google it up saying that uh, download Oracle database, okay, database. So there are quite few latest versions that are available. Uh, you can pick any one of them of your choice, but I'll obviously go with the latest version. Let's see. So you have 21C or you have Oracle Database Express Edition. So, um, you know what? I'll stick on to, this would be a huge software. In fact, I'll, if I click on the Oracle Database Express Edition, you can see here, there you go. I'll. I'll download this Express Edition. That should do good. Okay. Oracle Database 21C Express Edition Windows 64-bit. Now, the thing that you have to remember that it's for 64-bit machine only. Okay. There are certain prerequisites to install the Oracle Database. And uh, uh, make sure that your system um, is intact to install the software, right? So. If if your if your system is some is of a uh, uh, thirty two bit version, then I don't think that that this works. Okay, so I've downloaded it. Let it get download. Um, I've done, I put the software to download, so it's downloading it. Okay, while that in progress, I've um, brought up this screen in front of you, which is the system software system requirements for the 21c oracle database 21c as you can see it's operating system that supports our windows 10 x64 windows server 2012 x64 windows 2016 server 64 1964 okay seems that windows 11 doesn't is not yet supported so far for the oracle database express edition as you can see for windows 10 you have these many uh, additions and so forth is for the rest of it okay now this is the prerequisites and also if you can see the minimum requirement is two gigabytes of ram and the disk space is this much 8.5 gigabytes of minimum oracle software plus temporary storage i don't know whether it takes up 8.5 gig i just want to check that out as of now uh, my c drive is 118 gb let's see if that really um kind of slashes to minus eight gig. Okay. Either the way I've downloaded it and uh, that's the software and uh, let me extract it. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward extract. Okay, cool. It's getting extracted. That's good. Now let's ins enter into it and uh, I have a view this view right click. I'll say run as administrator. Okay. There you go. You'll get a pop-up screen and say yes for that. And this would take some time though. Okay, there you go. Let's do it. Let's click on next. I accept it. Next. This is the default location, right? So I'm going to change that. No, I'll leave that as it is. Okay, I don't want to change it. Okay, I'll just make a note of it. Just remember that it's in C app, which means you'll be having here itself. C in this particular folder. Okay, you'll be having this in the C here itself. C app Pro X 21C. Okay, there you go. Next, I want to create a database password. So this password is applicable for these many users, like the default system users, right? So you can log in with that. Okay, I'm just going to give it pretty straightforward. Admin 123. No brain scratching for that. Admin 123, anyone would remember it. And these are the destination folder, obviously. And this is our important path. This is the home page and uh, this is the base oracle base of it. okay cool let's install it okay and while that is in progress uh, i'm gonna pause this video 
and if there anything comes up in between i'm going to resume it okay or else i'll just wait till it's completed okay cool i'm just pausing the video right now all right guys so i just wanted to bring this up uh in front of your skin screen as you can see it's kind of configuring the oracle database express edition now it's pretty cool you know what so if you type windows prompt and say services dot msc self just pop up a screen here and you can see here right see the oracle has started here it's kind of uh picking it up okay and there you go it's in running state okay now that's the if i bring it up and as you can see oracle database express edition it should uh, be one of this i guess yeah that should be the one or i'll just let me sort it out though name i'll just say oracle all right see one yeah, one two three four of them running and it has to complete yeah that's something that i want to bring it up at any point of time if you feel that you want to stop it double click on this make it stop and make sure that it's disabled uh, because if it's automatic and see the current state is it's automatic and it's running so even once you bring up your operating system right so it will be always running in running mode and that kind of uh, it's uh, it, it takes a negative impact in loading the whole operating system no once the operating system gets loaded right so it will take a lot of time to come up uh, for the I mean, when i say come up it will take a lot of time to get your os ready to perform any activities if there are a lot of background programs as you can see here there are tons and tons of programs running here just uh, let me go up see so many things have to kind of uh, boot up uh, when, when it, it kind of runs as soon as you bring up your operating system these are the services that are for your local host okay so you can stop it and you can make sure that everything gets loaded as quickly as possible but anyways so i think this is taking quite a lot quite a lot of time guys it's been more than eight minutes and still it's going on not sure what's happening but anyways i'm gonna pause this video again and resume back for any other important updates all right then all right guys seems that it has been installed for a long time of waiting it took almost 10 minutes for me to get it installed not sure why it took such a long time maybe it not it may not be true for your case as well but boy it seems it took a lot of time anyways see this is my host and this is my port and this is my pluggable database name xe stands for express edition pb stands for pluggable database and one that's the name of it and this is what you're going to use it for your url um, for the express uh, url right so localhost 5500 slash em now i have always been practicing this when you install such kind of software i always go for a restart okay so it's time that i restart my operating system okay and uh, we'll resume back one hello guys so such a bummer that uh, while i was trying to complete the statement such a bad time that i just clicked on the restart button sorry that was that was crazy but anyways i've anyways i have restarted my operating system and uh, there you go I've, it's it's it has come up and i've opened another software called as sql developer where we will try to uh, see whether the connectivity works fine or not but before that i've just opened the browser and i've used that url as you can see it, remember that it's https localhost 5555 and em and this is what you get it okay now let's connect to the database and check it out okay to do that i'll click on this plus icon and here i'm going to say oracle um, express edition 21c and the thing that i'm going to log in is with system this is just a name guys this is just a name username is system as you know the password it's admin123 i have kept that and here I need to click on service name and then here I'm going to give XEPDB1. Test it. I hope it's success. As you can see, it's success. I'm going to save it. Okay. Save it and connect. I'm going to say that again admin123. There you go. Uh, <coughs> that's it. That's, that's where you're able to connect through system okay and i'm not sure whether how to work this out let's check it out yet as well admin one two three 
does it log in no yeah it does log in is it and there's no container name as such okay so cool you have the system and the user express edition logged in now that's the way how you install your operate uh, the oracle database right so we'll try to tune more and more on these activities on the database we'll, we'll, we'll try to work it out more and more on it but as of now you know how to do that there you go you have the express edition here a uh, pluggable database you have the 64 bit installed you have the version 21c installed and uptime is four minutes now obviously you can as i said before you can stop this very well by go to services.msc and you can click on all right there you go oracle i don't want to say that um say this guy if i say stop okay and uh, i'm going to stop it it's still stopping it ah, it's taking eternity okay now oh, this is crazy guys it's been f seven minutes and still it's going it's like totally oh finally okay there you go now i can say disabled okay the moment once i say this and look at this it's gone see here uh, it's it's totally lost it i um, think it's, it's gone and going out of bon bonkers okay let's try to disconnect this and check it it should not work but still we're going to disconnect and try to connect there you go clearly says that listener does not currently know of the service okay it says that connection refused cool so we know that what we have done we we'll go back double click say automatic apply i'll start it yeah it will take another eternity to come up okay so that's about it guys you know you know that you got the message what i'm going to what what i wanted to say now that's about it from the oracle perspective and let's see what else we can learn in the upcoming tutorials until then stay safe and have a great learning thank you